Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about teaching, uh, I mean, uh, colloquial uh, Yoruba. Yoruba is spoken in southwestern Nigeria by the Yoruba tribe, a very uh, common language. So, uh, some time ago a friend of mine, a student friend of mine, said he was learning the language and said uh, he couldn't find enough material online to learn from. So he's kind of suggested saying, since you're a native speaker of the language, why don't you put material online, you know, for people like him to learn from? So I'm thinking, I said, okay, I'll do my best, do my fair share, and put material online, uh, so people who are like him can learn from. So here we go. I'm going to start off with the salutations of the greetings, because uh, in Nigeria, I mean, uh, in Nigeria, greetings, salutations is very, very you know, important. You know, you, you don't just walk past a person without saying good morning or good afternoon or good evening, whatever the time of day might be. If you do that, it shows you've got no manners or morals. Or as some may say, you've got no uh, home training. So I'm going to start off by with the uh, greetings. I said, good morning. <clears throat> In Yoruba, good morning is ekaro. 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 That's good. That's good morning. If you're saying good morning to uh, in a formal setting to someone your uh, age mate. You say Carol, which is morning, morning. That's you being in the form of that's someone the same age as you. Morning. If it's someone older than you, like uh, in a formal setting, your boss, manager, supervisor, your landlord, you say a Carol, a Carol. To be more formal, you go. E caro, sir. That's good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. E caro, sir. E caro, sir. If it's the female, you say e caro, ma. E caro, ma. That's good morning, madam, or good morning, miss. To say good afternoon, that would be a uh, e caro. A car song. A car song. The funny thing about it, when I was teaching one of my friends at work, and she kept on forgetting uh, the difference between good morning and good afternoon. So I said this to her, right? In the afternoon, what comes out? The sun comes out in the afternoon. So in the afternoon, you say, A car song. A car song. You, remember, remember the sun in the sky? The sun comes out in the afternoon. So you remember, a car sun, a car sun. The sun in the sky, that's good afternoon, a car sun. And again, you put your ma or your sir, depending on who you're you know, uh, saying hello to. So for a man, a car sun, ça. A car sun, ça. A car son, sir. That's good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. For female, a car son, ma. A car son, ma. A car son, ma. That's a uh, female. Then good evening. That's a curole. A curole. A curole. A curole. That's good evening. E kurole ma. Good evening, madam. Good evening, madam. E kurole sa. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Then to say, to in, uh, in when, when you say hello to a person, they kind of respond to you just similar in the English way. Like when you say good morning to a person, they say good morning to you back as well. So, Eka Roma. And then answer Eka Ro. 
a car which is good morning, good morning. Sometimes the person can say, Bawuni, how is it? How are you? Bawuni, Bawuni, how are you? Then you say, Alafia Nima. That means it is well. Alafia Nima. It is well. You know, I'm fine. Mua la lafia. I am fine. So, eka roma. Then you get the response, eka ro. Then either one can say, shalafia. Is it well? How are you? Shalafia. Just hang on a second. Need some water there. Water is good for you, by the way. Drink some water. <coughs> Mineral water. So, where was I? You say, How are you? Shalafia. Shalafia. How are you? Is it well? Depending on who asks Shalafia, then you respond, Alafia Nimoa. Or, Alafia Nima. I'm fine. I'm well. Shalafia. Sometimes when a person says Shalafia, you can equally respond Alafia or Adupe. I'm grateful. I thank God. So, for example, I say good morning to you. Ekaro. Ekaro, sir. And you respond back to me. Ekaro. Then I say Shalafia. And you can say, Alafia Nima, Alafia Nisa. Or I can say, Shalafia. And you say, Adukwe. I'm grateful. I thank God. Once again, good afternoon. E carson. And the person responds, and you respond, E carson. Then I say, Shalafia. And you say, Alafia Nimoa. Alafia ni Shalafia Adukwe Shalafia and you can say ah I'm Adukwe o I'm grateful we thank we thankful then the, good evening that is a uh, ekurole that's a bit more a bit more a uh, bit of a mouthful for you so I do it slowly. E kuro le. E kuro le. That is good evening. Good evening. Good evening. E kuro le. Then once again, be more formal. E kuro le ma. Good evening, miss. Good evening, madam. And for a man, e kuro le sa. E kuro le sa. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. And the same thing. How are you? Bawuni. Alafia. Or Shalafia. Alafia ni mua. Bawuni. I say bawuni. You say alafia. Alafia. Then you can say, uh, you see a person, you want to know their name? Say, in English, you say, what is your name? Yoruba, ki lo ru ko e. Ki lo ru ko e. What is your name? That's an informal way of putting it. You're speaking to a friend, uh, an acquaintance, a workmate. Ki lo ru ko e. Ki lo ru what is your name? What is your name? Kilo Ruko E in a formal setting to an elderly person, uh, superior at work, someone you don't know. Kilo Ruko E. Kilo Ruko E. What is your name? Kilo ru sa. What is your name, sir? What is your name, sir? Kilo ru ma. Just bear with me right there. 
to Kilogu Konye Ma. What is your name, miss or madam? Kilogu Konye Sa. What is your name, sir? Then in response, you say, my name in English, you say, my name is. In Yoruba, you say, Uru Komi Ni. My name is. My name is Uru Komi Ni James Johnson. Uru Komi Ni James Johnson. Kilo Ruko eh. Uru Komi Ni James Johnson. Oru Komeni James Johnson. Yeah, so Oru Komeni James Johnson. My name is James Johnson. That's how you respond to the question. So I ask you, Kilo Ruko e, Kilo Ruko e, what is your name? And you respond to me, Oru Komeni, Oru Komeni, my name is. And you say your name. I know what we're going to teach you what next is what. What? Actually, let's let's go let's go back a bit back to the uh, back to the name. The microphone is uh, microphone is all there. Go back to the name, and you can say ko orukoe. Write your name. Korukoe sile. Write your name down. Write your name down. Call Orukoe Sile. Write your name down for me. Call Orukoe Sile for me. So write your name down. Call Orukoe Sile. Call Orukoe Sile. Write your name down. Write your name down down ko oru ko e sile that's write your name down and you're speaking to uh, somebody in a formal setting just bear with me right there i've dropped my pen so we're going again ko oru ko e write your name ko oru ko e sile yeah so uh Kilo Rukwe Ko Urukwe Sile, write your name down. Write your name down for me. Ko Urukwe Sile for me. Ko Urukwe Sile for me. Write your name down for me. Ko Urukwe Sile for me. Write your name down for me. I say once again more slowly. Write your name down slow. Write your name down for me. Ko oru ko e sile for me. Then we move on to uh so how to say what in Yoruba. What? What is kini? Kini. What? And depending on the uh uh, intensity, uh, the stress of the word, it, it can, you know, it, that determines how uh, urgent it is or how you're feeling. For example, in English, you can say what, you know, like you're being stressed or something. What in Europe is the same thing. Kini, kini, you know. So it's what, kini, k i n i, kini. What? What? Don't you say, uh, what is this? What is, is this? Ki le le yi. Ki le le yi. You can point as well. Ki le le yi. What is this? Kileleyi. And if you're if you're shocked at something, if you're 
watching something disgusting on television or something out of the ordinary, your body language uh, for te tells how short you are. You can go, Kilele ye. Kilele, what is this? Kilele ye. So it's uh, too lazy, eh? Ki le le yi. What is this? What is this? Ki le le yi. Ki le le yi. What is this? Or you could, you could just say something uh, in, a, in, a, in an easy way. Ki le le yi. What is this? You can say you, you have somebody has cooked up nonsense from the kitchen a, a, a rubbish food and you can go or you've been to a, a restaurant and they've served uh, rubbish food and you go, kilele yi. what is this what is this kilele yi. what is this uh, another thing another word is uh what's wrong what's wrong kilo de Kilo de, kilo de, what's happening? What's wrong? Kilo de, like you can ask a small child, as, as we do in English, what's wrong? Kilo de, kilo de, and depending, once again, depending on the uh, situation, you know, you can uh, display your anger, kilo de, Kilo de, what is this? What's wrong? Kilo de, what's wrong? Kilo de, so remember, kilo de, what's wrong? What's wrong? Kilo de, what is wrong? Another word is a, uh, what's happening? Kilo shele, kilo shele is what is happening. Kilon shele, what is happening? Kilon shele, what is happening? Oh, to say, uh, what happened? Kilon shele, what happened? Kilon shele, what happened? Kilon shele, what happened? What happened? Kilon shele, what happened? What happened? Kilo shele. What happened? Uh, that's that one there. And uh, to say, where are you going? Where are you going? Nibo lunlo. That's where are you going? Nibo lunlo. Where are you going? Where are you going? Nibo lunlo. Where are you going? Nibo lunlo. And to speak in a formal setting, you put your air once again in there. So it's Nibo lenlo. Nibo lenlo. Where are you going? Nibo lenlo. Where are you going? Nibo len lo ma. Nibo len lo ma. Where are you going, miss? Where are you going, madam? Nibo len lo. Uh, to a man. Nibo len lo, sir. Where are you going, sir? Where are you going, sir? Nibo len lo, sir. Then, uh, to, uh, to respond to that question, Nibolenlo, you can say, I am going to Monlosi. I am going to Monlosi. So when you say Nibolunlo or Nibolenlo, I will respond, Monlosoja. I'm going to the market. The word oja means market. It's o j, o j a, oja market. Monlo soja. 
mullo so ja mun mun lo so ja mun lo so ja i'm going to the market i'm going to the market mun lo so ja i'm going to the market i'm going to school mun lo silewe school is ilewe ile iwe uh literally literally speaking it means house of books ilewe house of books so ilewe school nibolonlo monlo silewe i'm going to school i'm going to school monlo silewe i'm going to school so to say what are you doing kilonshe Kilonche, what are you doing? Kilonche, what are you doing? What are you doing? Kilonche, what are you doing? In a formal setting, Kilonche, what are you doing? What are you doing? Kilonche, Kilonche, what are you doing? That's Kilonche, what are you doing? Kilonche, what are you doing? <coughs> then uh, in response, you can say, Monshishe, I'm working. Monshishe, I am working. Monshishe, I'm working. To say, uh, Yes, I'm working. Morning, she share. What are you doing? Morning, she share. I'm working. I'm working. That's how you respond to that question to say, uh, what else could you be doing? Watching television. Mongo television. I won't give it the name for television because it's a bit quite, it's, it's quite a, a longish word. So let's just say, uh, Mungu television. I'm watching the telly. Kilonche Mungu television. Mungu television. I am watching the telly. And uh, what else is there to say? Uh, what do you do for a point of vision? Kilo and show what are you doing? He said, Where do you live? Where do you live? Nibo Lungbe Nibo Lungbe. That's where do you live? Where do you? You leave. So just taking my notes there, put my note there, my notes. So Nibo Longbe, where do you live? Nibo Longbe. Nibo Longbe. Where do you live? Where do you live? Nibo Longbe. Where do you live? And to respond, or oh, once again, formal and informal. Nibo Lungwe, informal. Formal. Nibo Lengbe. Nibo Lengbe. That's a, in a formal setting. And yeah, to, to respond to that, you say, Mongbeni. I live at Mongbeni. I live at Mongbeni number 16, Cyber Cafe Road, or whatever, what about you live? So, Mongbeni, I live at Mongbeni, I live at, then you give your home address or 
whatever address you want to give. Ni bo longbe, where do you live? Ni bo langbe, where do you live? Formal. Ni bo langbe, then in response, mongbe ni, I live at. I live at mongbe ni, I live at. So that's that one. Mongbe ni, I live at. I live at. Then, uh, a question which uh, some of you may be asked as uh, people realize you're trying to learn the language, you may be asked, why are you learning Yoruba? So the question would go like this. Why are you learning Yoruba? Why are you learning Yoruba? And you can respond by saying, Mun Koyoba ni tori pe. I'm learning Yoruba because Mun Koyoba ni tori shemi. I'm learning Yoruba because of my work. Or Mun Koyoba ni tori poro poba shemi mo. I'm learning Yoruba because it complements my work. Kini de tong ko yoba. Why are you learning Yoruba? Kini de tong ko yoba. Why are you learning Yoruba? Then you respond. Mon ko yoruba. I am learning Yoruba. Mon ko yoruba. Ni tori pe oba ishe me mo. I'm learning Yoruba because it complements my work. So once again, Kinide Tonko Yoba, Kinide Tonko Yoba, and you respond, Monko Yoba, Ni Toripe Oba Ishemi Mo, Monko Yoruba, Ni Toripe Oba Ishemi Mo. I'm learning Yoruba because it complements my work. And uh, to say, what do you do for a living? What do you, what do, you do for a living? Iru isha wulenshe. Iru isha wulenshe. That's what kind of work do you do? What kind of job do you do? Iru isha wulenshe. What kind of job do you do? What kind of job do you do? What type of work do you do? And in Yoruba, you're, you're more likely to be asked as well. Shonishelowo. Shonishelowo, have you got job at hand? Have you got a job? Are you employed? Shonishelowo, are you employed? Shonishelowo. Are you employed? Shonisha Lowo, are you employed? That's the kind of question your in laws might ask you actually. Shonisha Lowo, are you employed? Are you gainfully employed? Shonisha Lowo, are you employed? And you may also maybe ask, Isha Wolunshe, what job do you do? What job do you do? What job do you do? Isha Wolonshe, what job what job do you do? Then you respond. Monshe you say Monshi She Akowe. That's a civil service. Monshi She Akowe, I work in a civil service. Or I work in an office. Uh I'm a doctor. Monshi she doctor. 
Mon she said doctor, I'm a doctor. Mon she said doctor, I am a doctor. Mon she said lawyer. Mon she said Agbejoro. Agbejoro is lawyer. Agbejoro. Mon she said Agbejoro. That is lawyer. That's a lawyer. Mon she said Agbejoro. So you, that's how you respond to the question. Mon she said. And you say what you do, you can use the English format, they'll understand it just fine. So, Munshi She, I go Joro. Munshi She, lawyer, I'm a lawyer. Munshi She, doctor, I'm a doctor. So, that's uh, that one. And uh, to say, what would you like to eat? So, food is Onje. So the question is, kilo feje, kilo feje, kilo feje. What would you like to eat? Kilo feje. What would you like to eat? Kilo feje. What would you like to eat? Or oh, formally, in the formal setting, kilo feje. What would you like to eat? Ma'am, Miss, Sir, qui le fait je ma, qui le fait je sa. And that's that. To say, what would you like to drink? Qui le fait mu, qui le fait mu. What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? Qui le fait mu. What would you like to drink? Is respond to the question of kilo feje, what would you like to eat? And you respond, mo feje, I would like to eat. And you name what you want to eat. Uh, mo feje, rice, I would like to eat rice. Mo feje, rice, I would like to eat rice. Mo feje means I would like to eat. And you name what you're gonna, what you feel like eating, rice, uh, Salad, salami, you know, etc. And there we go. What would you like to drink? Qui le fait mou? Qui le fait mou? Qui le fait mou formal? Qui le fait mou informal? Qui le fait mou? Qui le fait mou? What would you like to drink? And you respond, mou fait mou. I would like to drink Coke, uh, champagne, Mofemo, Coke. I would like to drink Coke. Mofemo, Fanta. I would like to drink Fanta. Mofemo, Champagne. I would like Champagne. I would like Champagne. So remember, Kilo Fe J. What would you like to eat? Kilo feje. What would you like to eat? Kilo fe mu. What would you like to drink? Kilo fe mu. What would you like to drink? That's it. Kilo feje. Kilo fe mu. What would you like to eat? What would you like to drink? So that's it for now, YouTubers. Uh, I'll bring this lesson to a close now. This is the part one. Uh, let me know how I did. Let me know if you enjoyed it or not. If you did enjoy it, as usual, the thumbs up. And if you feel it, I could improve, <laughs> leave your comments down below. I uh, would like to hear from you. Uh, for now, it's bye bye. So in Yoruba, to say bye bye is odabo. Odabo. Bye bye. Odabo. Until the next video. So, this is the part one. I'll do a part two. Depending on the response I get on this one, I'll do a part two for sure. Now, you take care now. Bye.